friends. So let's talk about the P and MP charts. Uh, so far in this chapter, we have used uh, country charts to monitor continuous variables measured from a process. Often, however, our uh, process does not produce continuous data. Instead, we may have data that simply indicate the present, present or absence of an attribute. Uh, for example, consider the customer satisfaction at a facility that dispenses driver's licenses. At this particular facility, customers receive, uh, receive their licenses in a three-step process. First, they fill out a form, then they have their picture taken, and finally, they pick up their license once it has printed. Uh, the official manager is uh, interested in customer satisfaction with the current process, so he gives the customers a survey or at the end of the process. Okay, so we use attributes charts when we evaluate quality characteristics uh, such as customer satisfaction or uh, the defectiveness of a manufacturer item. We may be interested in the present, present or absence of a defect or the number of total de defects observed on an item or we may be interested in monitoring pro the pro present or absence of, absence of several types of defects. Uh, attributes charts allow us, uh, allow us to monitor processes where continuous data cannot be feasibly or economic, economically obtained. Uh, there are four control charts available for attribute attributes data. Uh, is the U chart, C chart, and P chart, and P chart. It's important that we choose the right control chart for our data and for the quality characteristics of uh, interest. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's review. Uh, we will use the uh, attributes control charts to monitor processes that produce uh, attributes data. Uh, we'll see charts that reflect both in control, control and our control processes and learn how to use these charts to spot the uh, unusual sources of variation. Okay, so let's talk more detail about the NP and P charts. Let's return to the licensing process at the driver's license facility. Uh, the official uh, office manager is interested in customer satisfaction with uh, the current process. So he gives the all customers a survey when they receive their licenses. The manager is interested in the proportion of customers who are satisfied with the process. So how can we study this kind of uh, process data with a control chart? We can use uh, NP and P charts to monitor process in which the quality uh, characteristic, uh, characteristic of interest is number of proportion uh, or number of proportion of defective units in a sample. Okay, so uh, to draw a uh, P and uh, NP chart, we need to meet the, these two assumptions. Okay, because these charts are used to monitor by uh, binomial, binomial, binomial data, the binomial distribution is associated with the data that can have only one or two values. Such as, uh, such as certified or dissatisfied and uh, each item is collected under identical conditions and the outcomes are independent. We can use uh, an NB chart to monitor the total number of certified customers in the sample when the sample size is constant over time. The P chart monitors the proportion of certified customer in the sample. The sample size does not need to be constant over time for this chart. 
In this case, we are defining a defective as a certified customer. Uh, note that the attribute of interest doesn't always have to be negative. Let's explore, explore this chart in detail using the customer uh, satisfaction survey from the driver's license office. Uh, first, we create a uh, uh, first we'll create a P chart. The manager surveys customers who visit the fact, uh, facility on the follow on the following days and counts the number uh, of the customer who are uh, satisfied with the process. In the first uh, subgroup, 20 of 98 customers were satisfied, so the proportion of satisfied customer is 20 divided uh, 98, so it's uh, 0 0.2041. And this is the first line, uh, first point on the P chart. In the second subgroup, 18 of 104 surveyed customers who were certified, uh, certified. So the proportion is 0, 0.1.731. And this is the second point on the P chart. Continue this for the 18 remaining subgroups and connect the points. Now we add a center line and the control limits. The center line is an estimate of the overall percentage of defective or certified customer. In this case, it's 20, uh, 233 divided by 1422 and uh, the, the average is 16.36%. Uh, of our customer was satisfied with the process. So we call this the P bar and plot our center line here. The formula uh, formulas for the upper and lower control limits are based on the P bar and the size of the subgroups. Notice that the control limits vary from subgroup to subgroup. When a subgroup is large, we have more certainty in our estimate. And so the control limits are close to the center line. When a subgroup is uh, small, we have less certainty and the control limits are farther from the center line. Here's formula to calculate the uh, lower control limit and upper control limit. Here is a P chart for the data. Do you see evidence of assignable cost variation? So we can see here no points are outside of the control limits and no obvious patterns are evident. So on average, 16.36% uh, of customers are satisfied with the licensing process and the process is stable over time. I suppose that the manager at the driver's license facility decides to save time by only surveying 40 customers each day. So when subgroup sizes are equal, we can create an NP chart of the data. An NP chart plus the number of certified customers in each sample, whereas the P chart plotted the proportion. Note the point that falls outside of the control limits. This process is out of control and the manager should investigate why customer satisfaction was so low on this particular day. Okay, so let's review. P and NP charts are used to monitor confirming units in a sample. NP charts NP charts can be used when the subgroup sizes are the same. And P charts 
can be used when the subgroup sizes are the same or different. Thank you for your listening.